Jonathan Davenport held off a late charging Ricky Thornton Jr. to claim the first victory in the Lucas Oil MLRA division uh, at Lucas Oil Speedway out there in Missouri. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at John Trent Racing. Uh, to start off with, uh, there were a bunch of cautions in the beginning of the race. We had a caution for Matt Johnson with 36 laps to go in the 40-lap feature. Uh, he got stuck over in the uh, the dirt. They had to tow him off. And then uh, just a couple laps later, Aaron uh, Morant uh, also had an issue and uh, with uh, 34 laps to go. And uh, then we got some pretty good racing here uh, when they when they got going green after that restart. You can see uh, kind of three wide here. Obviously, Jonathan Davenport has already checked out on the field. Uh, he absolutely dominated this race from the green flag. No one really had anything for him. I think he was up to like one and a half, almost two seconds, two second lead at one point in the race. Uh, it wasn't until maybe about. Uh, six laps to go, and Ricky Thornton Jr. really kind of started to close in on him and try and make it a little bit of a race towards the end. But uh, we did have some really good racing for second on back. You can see here Garrett Smith in the uh, blue number 10 here up on the on your left side of the screen. He was in second. Uh, you got Tony Jackson Jr. in the number 25, Ricky Thornton Jr. in the middle, Mason Ziegler up there in that black and green car, and then uh, even Gar Garrett Alberson uh, got into the mix a little bit down there uh, on the bottom side. But let's take a look at some of this uh, this really good racing here for second and third place. They go three wide here uh down the front stretch mason ziegler trying to get up on the outside there and then tries to get underneath ricky thorne jr tony jackson jr gets a good run gets past him ricky thorne jr not did not have a really good turn there lost two spots uh but uh, again garrett albertson working down on the bottom i mean just some really good good racing here uh for third fourth fifth and sixth uh, and it was pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, we th that that good racing would come to an end. We would have a caution for debris uh, that they went and picked up uh, in the middle of turns three and four with 31 laps to go. Uh, and then we would have some more good racing. We would get this really long green flag uh, run. Uh, after that, they picked up that debris, and they would go to about 15 laps to go. And you had some really good racing here for second between Ziegler and Garrett Smith, as well as uh, for fourth and fifth between Tony Jackson Jr. and uh, Ricky Thor Jr. Let's take a look at some of this right here. So really good racing here. Obviously, Garrett Smith getting a good run there. You can see Ricky Thor Jr. working on, the, on that middle line there on Tony Jackson Jr., Tony Jackson Jr., a good run coming off of the turn two there. And, I mean, these guys were going at it uh, back and forth for, I, I want to say, about eight, eight, nine, maybe even ten laps. It was really good racing here um, in the middle portion of the race uh, when they had this long green flag. And you can kind of see they were really trying to find their find different lanes, move around the track. Um, it was really enjoyable watching that. Uh, and then uh, with about 15 laps to go here, you want to focus on uh, Garrett Smith's car. He's just up here uh, almost off the screen. And uh, he was in second at the time, and he just loses it and hits the outside wall coming off of turn four and just uh, ruins his night. Let's take a look. So you see Ricky Thornton Jr. is making a charge here already, and then bang, he just clips, clips the outside wall there. Um, and, and just smacks it really hard and back it up here again. You can see, oops, let's look back it up just a little bit more here. See folks there on Garrett Smith there. Here he comes and just right there. He just clips it just barely. And that just is enough to send him into the outside wall there. Uh, and it would end his night. Uh, it's a shame because he had a good run going. Uh, I don't think he had anything for Davenport. Obviously, he had already kind of fallen back there into the clutches of Ricky Thornton Jr. and uh, Mason Ziegler. But uh, definitely probably had a top five car and uh, just one little mistake there and uh, hit the wall and kind of ended his night. Uh, we did get, uh, like I said, there was this, this point here where it looked like Ricky Thornton Jr. was going to make a uh, late run charge, something that I feel like he's known for. Uh, he did that a lot last year. Uh, he would kind of really come in to to his own in the last closing laps, and he kind of did that here. Uh, just didn't wasn't able to uh, finish Jonathan Davenport off. Davenport had a very very stout car, but uh, let's take a look here 
at Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to close in on uh, Jonathan Davenport. Davenport got got stuck behind. Um, I think this is McCowan here in the eight car right in front of him. Got stuck behind him for about a lap, and uh, Ricky Thornton Jr. was able to make quick work of him. So he thought, oh, maybe he's going to do it, but uh, Davenport was able to hold him off. So here we go. We can see this kind of five laps to go. Davenport gets a really good run. Slides right up in front of McCowan. And then Ricky Thornton Jr. kind of lines him up here, coming down the front stretch and drives right underneath him in um, turns one and two. And it uh, looks like he would, might be able to close on Davenport. But uh, like I said, Davenport kind of really uh, held him off here. And we're working around the lap traffic here and uh, come home to claim the victory. You can see him right there celebrating in victory lane. So pretty solid race. Um, if, especially if you're looking <laughs> past first place, I mean, obviously Davenport led, uh, from the green flag to the checkered flag, um, and dominated the race, but there was some really good racing that did happen throughout the, uh, pack. As far as the running order, this is over at myracepass.com. Davenport obviously came home, uh, with the checkered flag. Uh, Ricky Thornton Jr. moved up five spots and finished in second Mason Ziegler, Finished third, Garrett Albison in fourth, Tony Jackson Jr. fifth, Chad Simpson sixth, Mike Marler moved up eight spots, finished in seventh, uh, Justin uh, Wells moved up six spots, finished in eighth, Justin Duty, uh, I think was your hard charger, moved up 14 spots, uh, finished in ninth, Chris Simpson in 10th, Jeff Herzog in 11th, Trevor Gundaker in 12th, moved up 10 spots, uh, Logan Marin or Martin, excuse me. Uh, finished in 13th, Cole Wells in 14th, Dustin Hodges in 15th, Dylan McCowan uh, in 16th. Um, they're saying he did not finish. I guess he uh, must have dropped out there after he got lapped by um, Davenport and uh, Ricky Thornton Jr. Rodney Sanders in 17th, the DNF. Corey, Gordy Gundaker in 18th did not finish. Garrett Smith, as we said there, lost 18 spots uh, with that mistake, finishing in 19th. Mason Oberkramer finished in 20th. Uh, Brennan uh, Willard in 21st. Aaron Morant, as I said, had that issue very early on uh, in 22nd. Tyler Stevens finished in 23rd. Uh, Dusty Leonard in 24th. And then Matt Johnson was that first caution uh, with 36 laps to go, finished in 25th. So that is how they finished uh, for the first race in the Lucas Oil MLRA. Uh, series at the Lucas Oil Speedway. So congratulations to Jonathan Davenport. Absolutely dominated the field. Uh, he is known to dominate at that track, and uh, he did not disappoint. Uh, and we got that really good race with the, with Ricky Thornton Jr. at the end, um, closing in. Made it really exciting. Kind of put you on the edge of your seat. You're going to see what was going to happen if, if Davenport was going to be able to hold him off. Ricky Thornton Jr. was going to be able to challenge him and uh, really kind of uh, got you on your toes there. So uh, great race. Uh, looking forward to seeing these guys compete again uh, into in the future. But let me know what you guys made of this race. Let me know in the comments below.